While researchers found that thieves are using web bots to guess Visa credit card numbers, you might have missed the bird version of Amelia Earhart, the latest NASA jet engine, and our sad little planet. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where terrible news, November 2016 saw the lowest Arctic sea ice levels in the satellite record ever. But at least we got to enjoy the Weather Channel's take no prisoners response to Breitbart News claiming climate change doesn't exist. So next time you're thinking about publishing a cherry-picked article, try consulting a scientist first. And to all my fellow scientists out there, let's make the facts louder than the opinions. Flying could soon use a lot less gas thanks to a new jet engine design being tested by NASA. The National Space Agency built a new kind of fan and inlet that increases fuel efficiency up to 8%. The new components could let designers move the plane's engines from out on the wings to right up next to the body where they can take advantage of slower moving air currents. NASA is testing the prototype at its Glenn Research Center in Cleveland. Hopefully the fuel savings will translate into cheaper fares for passengers, but I was wishful thinking. Here's something that probably won't surprise you. Scientists didn't really know how birds flew. It's all half theory. Until Stanford researchers got little mini parrots to fly through a laser sheet with particles in it so they could study the forces at work in slow-mo. But first, they had to make these tiny birds goggles. You know, for safety. Yeah, just shut it all down for a minute. Safety goggles for birds. What's next, tiny rain boots? A little bird hard hat? Anyhow, it turns out the main three models to predict lift force are not reliable when held up against what flight actually creates. More studies to come. And finally, some students at the University of Tokyo created a prototype mower thing to let them create large-scale pictures on regular old lawns by plucking out individual grass strands and then flattening others. It's called graffiti, of course. 